Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today we are going to be doing a kind of difficult electrostatic equilibrium problem that's different than some of the other ones. So we have charge A and charge B, and they are separated by a distance of 1.3 meters. So A is over here, and B is going to be over here. And the distance between these two is going to be 1.3 meters. Okay? And charge C is somewhere in between the two. So let's just say arbitrarily that, char uh, that C is around here. Okay? And the only thing you know is that charge A has a 1.4 Coulomb charge, and charge B has a 2.4 Coulomb charge. And charge C, which is also 2.4 Coulombs, convenient, um, is right there. And we wanted to figure out what is the location of point C from A? And it's not 1.3 away. That the 1.3 is the entire distance all the way across. Okay? Now, in order for them to be in equilibrium, we're just going to, I'm going to erase this 1.3 for a minute. I'm going to call this distance right here the radius between A and C the radius of A. That would be from here to here. And I'm going to call this distance from C to B the radius of B. Okay? We know that the force that these two are feeling between A and C and between C and B have to be equal, all right? So first off, it is being force electric is being repelled away from B and repelled away from A. And we want that to be in equilibrium because it's in equilibrium. So in order to do that, you're going to have KQQ over R of A squared would have to equal K Q, Q, R of B squared. Okay, so we're going to fill in some of the things. Uh, the K, but before we do, I want to recognize that a lot of stuff's going to cancel. Okay, so if we did fill this in, let's do it again. We'd have K, Q of A, Q of C, and we'd have R, A squared, and that would equal K, Q of A, Q of B, R of B squared. A lot of things are going to cancel here. The K's don't matter at all. They're gone. The Q A, excuse me, Q of C is going to cancel. That's gone. And then the only thing you're going to be left with is the Q of A and Q of B. This is going to, this needs to be Q C times Q B because that's the two charges for that radius of B, C and B. So um, the C canceled. And we are left with Q of A over radius of A squared would equal Q of B radius of B squared, which is almost enough to do the problem, okay? Q of A, we got, it's 1.4 coulombs, not a microcoulomb, 1.4 over radius of A squared. Q of B, we got it. It is, where is it at? Q B is 2.4 coulombs over radius of B squared. We could cross multiply this, but we're going to run into an issue because we have radius of A squared and radius of B squared. So then we have to think a little bit about this whole thing is 1.3. All right, so that means that RA and RB combined would equal 1.3 away. So the radius of A and the radius of B put together have to equal 1.3. And if you manipulate that slightly, you get Radius of, well, let's solve for radius of A, would equal 1.3 minus the radius of B. So I just moved the radius of B over, and then you can plug that in for radius of A squared right there. So you just substitute that in. We're going to be left with 1.4 over radius of A is being replaced with 1.3 minus radius of B, what we just solved for. Don't forget the squared would equal 2.4 over the radius of B squared. Now, the big thing that you got to do here is a lot of algebra. Um, hopefully, you got a handy-dandy graphing calculator, and you can use the quadratic solver. But we are eventually going to cross-multiply here. In fact, it might as well cross-multiply now. We get 1.4 radius of B squared would equal 2.4 times, I'm going to write 1.3 minus radius of B, and another 1.3 minus radius of B because 
this squared means that you have to foil those two. All right, so we're gonna foil that real quick. 1.4 radius of B squared would equal, I'm gonna write 2.4 in front, and we have 1.3 times 1.3. I don't know what that is. 1.3, 1.3 times 1.3 is 1.69 minus a 1.3 radius of B, minus another 1.3 radius of B, plus a radius of B squared from foiling that out. You would distribute the 2.4. So 2.4 times the 1.69, you end up with 4.056. So I'm at 1.4 radius of B squared would equal 4.056 minus 1.3 and 1.3 are going to combine, so we're at like an algebra problem. So 2.6 times 2.4 ends up being minus 6.24 radius of B. And then 2.4 times radius of B squared is 2.4 radius of B squared. Combine any like terms. I'm going to add that, oh, excuse me, subtract that 1.4 over because this is a quadratic formula problem. You end up with 0, 4.0. 4.056 minus the 6.24 radius of B plus uh, 1 radius of B squared. From this point, you can use the quadratic formula. I am not going to go through the quadratic formula with you to make sure that you know how to do that, but I can also show you real quickly that in most graphing calculators now you have a polynomial simulator where you just have to put in the values for each of them. So if you put in the three values, the first term is the squared term. That was a one, so I hit one. And then I hit negative 6.24, so negative 6.24. And then I would put in a positive 4.056, and then I just hit solve. And it would tell me that I have two values, one of which is 0.737 and the other one is 5.5 and only one of them can work. So in my calculator, I got radius for B is equal to 0.737 and radius for B is equal to 5.5. Now, knowing that our entire length of the, uh, the line was 1.3 from A to B, if that whole thing is 1.3, well, I can't have the radius of B be 5.5. That wouldn't make any sense. So the radius must be the 0.737. So if I subtract the 0.737, then I would have the leftover part, 1.3. Hang on, getting my calculator back. Six, 1.3 minus 7.7 .7 is 1.3 minus 0.737 is 0.563. So that would mean from A to C is 0.563, and from C to B would be the 0.737. Make sure that you actually answer the question correctly. I got both of the radiuses now, and it says how far from charge A is charge C. Well, how far from charge A uh, is it? The 0.563. So we have our answer as 0.563 meters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.